We're not in the church, not in either of the churches. We're in Elston Hall tonight because Sarah couldn't be here tonight, and we wanted to be sure that she could be with us even though she's not here with us. I figure, hey, if the late night talk show host can do it, so can we. <laughs> so everybody say hi to Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Look, there's Emmy, too. Say hi, Emmy. Hi, hi. Hey, this week, we're going to talk about a verse that I am sure you have all heard before, or better yet, you have seen. Check this one out. Remember, not so long ago, when we used to go to sporting events or watch sporting events from our TVs, and almost always there would be a sign like this one saying, John 3.16. Yep, that's why tonight we started off with the spirit cheer. We're wearing spirit gear. We've decorated everything like we're at a spirit game and we're just having great fun with the spirit. So tonight, we're going to talk about that wonderful scripture, John 3, 16. But hey, here's a secret. Let me fix my glasses. They're a little falling down on me. Here's the secret. There's more to the story than that first verse of John 3, 16. There's so much more than this simple verse. So I think Theo might be ready. He's going to come and read John 3, 16, and then some. Go, Theo! Yes, Hi, guys. Emily did an awesome job of stalling because I couldn't get, get the past. So <laughs> we got her now. Uh, a reading from the book of John. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son so that everyone who believes in him might not perish but might have eternal life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but whoever ever does not believe has already been condemned because he has not believed in the name of the only son of God. And this is the verdict, that the light came into the world, but people preferred darkness to light because their works were evil. For everyone who does wicked things hates the light and does not come toward the light, so that his works might be exposed. But whoever believes the truth comes to the light so that his works may be clearly seen as done in God. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks God. God. Hey guys, I was going to wear my wig tonight. I wasn't sure it was going to fit. But anyhow, I'm here. This is great. Thanks for joining us. That scripture verse, John 3.16, you know. I remember watching Monday Night Football and invariably second deck of some football stadium, there'd be the banner. God so loved the world that he gave his only son. If this uh, sounds like I'm bragging, I am. The highlight of my brief basketball career came when I was in sixth grade. Yep. The game was tied. I got the ball, 10 seconds left. This is a true story, Emily, okay? <laughs> I got the ball, two dribbles, stopped, perfect swish, nailed a two-pointer, won the game, mobbed by my team. In my mind, I was a hero of the game. Next fall, seventh grade football. We're down by one. We've got last play of the game. I go along for this pass. I'm in the open. I'm near the end zone. I see the ball ready to catch the pass that's going to win the game. And I hear this thud off my chest as the ball bounces harmlessly to the ground. Dang. Keep your eyes on the ball. Bob, that's what my dad would always say. In my own mind, in one year, from hero to goat. God so loved the world that he gave his only son, his gift to the world, his gift to you and me, his only son. Jesus. In one year, in one, one week, he went from hero to goat. As he entered Jerusalem, they held him as a king. Days later, as he hung on a cross, dying, they, they scorned him, they mocked him as a fool, the laughing star of Jerusalem. But we know that's not the end of the story. This defeated Jesus, they raised him. He was raised as a triumphant Christ, won victory over sin and death. God so loved the world that he gave his only son as his gift to you and to me. And the invitation is still the same, to cherish the gift 
our hero given to us, Jesus, the one who gave us life to follow his lead and to lay down our lives for one another as he did for us. Great seeing you guys. We'll see you next week. Thank <laughs> you. 